Welcome to the first installment of the League of Legends walkthrough trailers presented by Riot Games. Hi, my name is Sean Carnes and I'm the lead creative designer at Riot Games. Today I have the pleasure of giving you an overview of our soon to be released game, League of Legends. The playstyle of League of Legends introduces an innovative new genre, something we're calling a MOBA or an MOBA. Now you may be asking yourself, well, what exactly is a MOBA? Well it stands for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. It's got a good mix of real-time action, real-time strategy, uh, competitive team play, and we've even thrown in a dash of RPG gaming for good measure. Next, we have Tom Cadwell to walk through the gameplay elements of League of Legends. I'm Tom Cadwell, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, League of Legends and, and some of our basic gameplay. Um, in League of Legends, you play a summoner who summons champions to fight enemies and, and hopefully you know, win for your team. Um, and uh, you know, the champions, we've invested a lot of time into trying to make them really different and, and unique in, in how they play. So on the one hand, you might have uh, a magic-based champion who's very twitchy, fast-paced, um, you know, has various spells. And on the other, you might have a traditional kind of fighter-type champion that's maybe more based around uh, strategy and timing. Before each match, players must summon a champion from a pool of unique characters, each of which offers its own rich and distinct gameplay experience. So here we are in the game, uh, and you can see my team here. I'll be going down the center lane to the middle of the map uh, with two of my allies. The champion I've summoned, the, the big blue guy you see in there on the screen is called Ryze, the Rogue Mage. Ryze is a damage dealing spellcaster who has a bunch of abilities, the most distinctive of which is called Rune Prison. The small creatures that have joined us are my minions. Minions are AI controlled creatures that are a lot less powerful than your champion. I can attack an enemy by right clicking on them, and you can see that in the game right now where my glove cursor becomes a sword. If you land a killing blow on a minion, you're awarded gold, and you can see that in the game also with the, uh, the little gold numbers that pop up over, over dead enemies. And over time that ends up being pretty important because as you kill enemy champions, towers, um, buildings, etc., you're going to gain golden experience which gradually make your champion a lot more powerful. As my champion gains level, he's going to get skill points and I have to decide how to spend those. I can either use them to upgrade an existing skill or I can use it to learn an entirely new skill. You know, it's, it's really about understanding how best to use your abilities in different situations as well as to understand uh, what your opponents might throw at you so that you can anticipate what's going to happen and have the right strategy to make sure they're not successful. Looks like I'm pretty low in health, so I'm going to get out of here and, and get healed up. And the best way to do that is to just back up a little bit out of combat and use the recall ability. And the way that works is any character can use the recall ability. It takes about 10 seconds after which you teleport back to the fountain, which is where we started the game. And one feature of the fountain is that any champion that's uh, standing inside of it um, is rapidly healed. I'm at the store now as well, and that's where you spend money to improve your character. There's a couple of good options I have for Rise. I could, I could buy ability power, which would make all of the spells better. I could buy mana, which allows them to cast more spells and also makes overload stronger. Or I could, you know, buy health so that I don't have to run away as quickly next time. Picking the right items is really at the center of the strategy of League of Legends. It's important that as your champion gains power that you're building him in a direction that's going to synergize well with your team as well as um, you know, complement your own champion strengths. Um, and you know, hopefully to some extent you know, offsetting some of the advantages your opponents are accumulating. Let's fast forward a little bit. One of the most important parts of League of Legends is the team fights. And the best type of team fight is one where there's you know, three or four of you and two or one of them and that's what you're about to see here. The important part of the game is killing enemy champions, and because they're actually played by living humans, um, they're not gonna stand there and take it. So you have to be a little more clever, and it's really important to have good positioning so that you, know, you can run away quickly if you need to, and you can attack easily if you need to as well. Thanks for watching our first walkthrough of League of Legends. Stay tuned for more exciting features such as shoutcasts of full games, our metagame walkthrough, game videos of our maps, and more. Make sure to check out LeagueofLegends.com for more exciting updates, and also join our community for opportunities to participate in our beta.